How's it going gamers? My name is Vast Game Master. I am back with another tutorial video for SWAT 4 and this time I'm going to show you guys how to download the Battlefield Hardline skins and with the SWAT 4 Elite Force mod. The famous Elite Force mod. The easiest way to do it is to go to ModDB and download the full version that includes both SCF and BFHL. And you can get this on ModDB, the link will be included in the description. In order for this mod to work is that you're going to have to have SWAT 4 installed along with the Steshkov Syndicate. But you can also just go to GOG.com uh, and just buy the SWAT 4 Gold Edition from there, which the link for that would also would also be in the description. So all you got to do is go to Mod, ModDB, again the link for the game and the mods will be in the description of, of the video. Make sure you have the game installed and then move to step two to, to download and, and install the mod. So we're, we're going to install this from ModDB. And once it's finished installing, you're gonna unpack it onto your desktop folder. So just here, I use uh, Win, WinRare for this so just hit save file that way we have the file saved and then just wait for it to finish downloading all right so we're back here to the desktop i have the mod downloaded it's in a zip file so all you got to do is just extract the files and then once that's done what you guys are going to do is that this is going to go inside the swat for folder which means you're gonna have to open up your GUG Galaxy, go under games, and it would be around here. But since I don't install my games on a C drive, I install them on my E drive. Okay, so with the mod unpacked, this is the mod fo folder itself. It's got everything here that you're going to need to install it, and it includes the README and all this stuff. So you're gonna take this, throw it outside the folder, then delete the folder that contained it. And we're going to keep this here in case, you know, you, you screwed it up and you delete something. You got it here. It's backup, whatever. And here's the SWAT 4 folder. So this is where you, you'll find the GOG Galaxy version gold edition of SWAT 4. Or SWAT 4 gold edition. How, however, however I, I said it better. So you're going to take this and you're going to drop it in there. And once it's done copying the files and transferring over it from one hard drive to the other, um, if this was on the C drive, it'd just be instant. Okay, so the mod's installed. That's it. Congratulations, you've installed the mod, the Elite Force mod, Battlefield Hardlines to SWAT 4. But in order to play it, you have to open up the folder, the SCF and BFHL. You gotta go inside the folder itself where the mod is. Go into extras. And you'll have this SWAT 4 x.exe and then you also have like this one here this one's for the elite force mod which from my testing experience it doesn't matter which one you use because they both run it but i think i pref prefer if everyone ran the SWAT 4 x.exe now you can make this into your desktop shortcut and then you can just click on it run the game and it'll just run and then it'll play and then you can play uh the elite force mod with the battlefield hardline skins and that's it that's all there is to it now i made a video before uh talking to people and telling uh showing uh, showing you guys how to install the swat 4 mod elite force mod before and i kept getting some comments saying that oh i uh they, they didn't do it right or it couldn't find something. I don't know. It was throwing up all kinds of errors according to what uh, people were saying. And as long as you got the mod and the game installed, as long as you got you got the game, the gold edition, and the mod installed, you should be able... There should be no reason for it not to work. Unless you just didn't, didn't install it correctly. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and colleagues or anybody that might be struggling on how to install mod in SWAT 4. And I'll see you guys next time.